welcome back to Storybook Crochet. Today we are going to be making this um, Easter chick hat for babies. Um, for this tutorial, I'm going to be making it in the six to month, nine month size, but I have other videos for preemie through three to six months if you need a different size. The links for those will be in the description below. So to get started, we're going to need two different colors of yarn. For my next one for this video, I'm going to use a lighter um, yellow and then this kind of golden yellow for the beak just to do a di kind of different color palette. You're going to need two buttons, okay, and you're going to need a yarn needle and some scissors and then for your hook, you're going to need an H hook. So let's grab our supplies and we'll get started. Okay, so let's get started with making the, um, the hat first. So you're going to start with a magic ring. And then in that magic ring, you're going to make eight half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook in the circle, pull your yarn through, and you'll have three loops on your hook, and then you'll yarn over and pull through all three. So that's a half double crochet. I'll show you one more time slowly. Yarn over, insert your hook into the circle, pull your yarn up, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So in your circle, you'll make eight of those half double crochets. All right, once you have made your eight, you're gonna pull on your string here to close that circle up. You want it completely closed. And then we're gonna slip stitch to that very first um, half double crochet that you made. So insert your hook, pull your yarn through, and then pull your yarn through your loop. So that is round one of the six to nine month hat. So you're going to chain one so at the end of each round, you will slip stitch and chain one, okay? So for round two, we are going to increase in every stitch around. So you'll put two half double crochets, and for the first stitch of every round, you're gonna insert your hook into the same stitch that you slip stitched into. So two half double crochets in every stitch around. So by putting two half double crochets in each stitch around, we will have a total of 16 half double crochets at the end of round two. Okay, so at the end of round two, don't forget to make your slip stitch and then chain one. Okay, and so the next um, round, round three, we're going to put one half double crochet in the first stitch and then increase in the next stitch and then we'll repeat that pattern all the way around. So one half double crochet in the first stitch and then we'll move on to the next stitch and we'll put two half double crochets. Okay, so one half double crochet and then increase in the next round. Okay, so repeat that pattern all the way around and I will meet you back at the end of round three. Okay, so we are at the end of round three. You should have 24 stitches around. So for round four, we are gonna do, and we're gonna repeat this pattern for several rounds, you're going to do two half double crochets in the first two stitches. So one in each stitch, one, two, and then you're gonna increase 
in that third stitch. So two half double crochets together in that in that third stitch. So one, one, increase. One, one, increase. And again, you will repeat that pattern all the way around. And at the end of round four, you will have a total of 32 half double crochets. So I will meet you so we can start the beginning of round five. All right, moving on to round five, we are going to, or half double crochet, sorry, in the first three. And then you're going to half double crochet increase in that fourth stitch. So you see the pattern that we're doing here. So again, half double crochet in the first three stitches and then increase in that fourth stitch. So the end of round, let's see, we're on one, two, three, four, five. We're going to have a total of 40 half double crochets around. So I will meet you at the end of this round. Okay, so for round six, we are going to keep repeating that pattern, but this time we're gonna half double crochet in the first four. So one, two, three and four and then increase in the fifth stitch okay so um, just repeat that around and at the end of round six you should have 48 half double crochets made so that will meet you back at the end of this round okay so round seven is going to be our last increase round and we're going to start with five half double crochets and then increase in the sixth stitch so one two three, four, and five, and then increase in that fifth stitch. So you know the drill, keep working your way around until the end of round seven. And again, this is our last decrease round. Um, so I will meet you at the end where you should have a total of 56 half double crochets. Okay, so we have finished our increase rounds. So now for the next 10 rounds, you're just going to put one half double crochet in each stitch around. So that's all you do, just one half double crochet in each stitch around. Each round will consist of a total of 56 half double crochets. So again, you're going to do this for a total of 10 rounds. So I will meet you back once you have those 10 rounds made and we will finish off our hat. Okay, so we've made our 10 rounds of half double crochets. So this is what your hat should look like at this point. So we're gonna finish off with the last round. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to do that. So I'll show you this hat. So I have done um, some kind of a textured last round on this. If you don't want that, then I suggest just single crocheting in each um, stitch around to finish off your hat or even just making slip stitches around. It depends on how you want that finish to look. But I am going to show you how to make this um, edging right here. So we're going to be working um, around the posts or around the stitches of the previous round. So instead of working under our stitches like we normally do, we're going to work around the actual stitches from the previous round. So we're going to be doing what's called front post and back post half double crochets. So if you don't know what that means, you can um, watch me and I'll do it slowly to show you how to do that. If you do know what that means, you're going to do that and repeat that all the way around. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert in between that um, last stitch you made from the last round and the first stitch from the last round. And then you're going to put your hook behind that stitch. You're going to grab your yarn and pull it through and then make your half double crochet. Okay? And then we're going to do the opposite for the next stitch. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to go back behind these stitches up in between and then in front of that stitch. So you'll see your hook in front of that next stitch. You're going to yarn over Pull your yarn through, make your half double crochet. So I'm going to do that a few more times slowly so you can um, really see how to do that if you're not, if you've never done that before. 
but if you have like I said um, go ahead and repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet you at the end and we'll finish it off Okay, so um, just repeat that all the way around until you get back to the beginning and then we will finish off the hat and then we will make all the accessories for it. Okay, so you should have gone ahead and slip stitch to that first stitch that you made. So now we're just going to finish it off, cut our yarn, pull it through our loop, and then we'll weave that, that end in. So go ahead and do that and then also weave, I go ahead and weave in this um, tail in the, in the middle of the hat and get that cut and then your six to nine month size hat is finished. Okay, so we're now going to make the little curly cues that we, we will put to the, on the top of the hat. So I've already made three, but you're gonna wanna make four of these and I'll just show you how to make one of them and then you can pause the video and make your other three. So you're gonna start out with a chain nine. Okay, once you have your chain nine in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna use go under the back loop only, and we're gonna make three single crochets all in the same stitch. And you're gonna repeat that all the way across. So three single crochets in each stitch across, just going under that back loop only. It makes it easier to work so many stitches across the chain if you put it in the back loop like that. And you're just going to keep doing that all the way across until you get to the end. So after you finish this, you should have a total of 24 single crochets across this chain. Okay, so once you finish, you're going to want to cut a longer tail so we can sew it onto the hat. Go ahead and pull that through your loop. You're going to want to go ahead and weave in this short end and then we'll just set these aside and next you'll want to grab your color for your beak and we'll get that made and then we'll do all of our sewing at the very end. Okay, so I am using this kind of golden color for my beak since I'm using a lighter yellow. Um, for the other hat, I used brighter colors. So that's what this looks like. Okay, so to start out, you're gonna wanna chain seven. Okay, once you have your chain seven, starting in that second chain from our hook, you're just going to single crochet one in each across that chain. So that'll end up being a total of six single crochets across. Okay, once you get to the end of the row, you're gonna chain one and then you're gonna turn your work over. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to decrease in the first two. So you're gonna insert your hook, pull up your yarn, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up your yarn. You have three loops on your hook. You yarn over and pull through all three. So that's a single crochet decrease. 
Then you're going to single crochet one in each of the next two stitches. And then you're going to decrease again over the last two. By doing this, we're going to be making that kind of triangle shape. Okay, so we have four stitches now for row two. So chain one and turn. For row three, you're just going to single crochet across. All right, chain one and turn. So for the next row, we're going to just two, two decreases. So decrease over the first two decrease over the last two. So now we only have two stitches left. We're going to chain one and turn and then you're just going to make one decrease for this last row. All right and there we have made our beak. So we're going to finish off at this point. Longer tail so we can sew around it. You're going to want to weave in this short end and then come back and then we will get all of our sewing finished. Okay, so we're gonna start by sewing the beak on. So I sew it just a couple rows up. You're gonna put the point of the beak in the center of the hat and then you're just gonna sew all the way around that beak. Okay, so then go ahead and weave in that end a couple times and then cut that off and then that part is finished. Alright, you want to grab your two buttons. I'm actually going to use some white to sew the centers on and just kind of figure out how you want your placement. I do mine a little bit closer to the beak and then you're going to come up through the back or the inside, I should say, of the hat. And you're going to want to sew those buttons on pretty well. So I go through several times each way on the buttons. You could also just crochet some black circles and sew those on if you prefer that way. So I went one way each time and then I'm going to go a second time each way. Alright, so once you do that, I go ahead and just weave in um, both ends into the back of the hat so that those buttons will not come off. So go ahead and do that and then sew your second eye on and then we will get the little curly cues sewn onto the top. Okay, so we have our eyes on our hat. So the last step is going to be sewing on the little curly cues or feathers, whatever you wanna call them, 
to the very top of the hat. So we made four, so I just kind of go around the very top um, round that we made and sew them on. So you're just going to want to sew the little, um, the, the very uh, like tip of the curly cue on. I go through several times just to make sure it's not like floppy. And then you'll just weave that in. I go through back and forth a couple times. And that's all you do. So then you're going to just want to cut that yarn off and then repeat that with the other three. I don't know, the one looks kind of cute too. So go ahead and sew those all on and then we will meet back at the end. Alright guys, our hat is now finished. Um, comment below and tell me what color you made yours, what size you made it. I like to hear what you guys are making with these patterns. Um, if you would hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also the subscribe button and the bell icon that will let you know when I have a new video up and it helps to just keep, keep me going on YouTube here. Um, also, you can check out other free patterns at storybookcrochet.com where I have a bunch of new patterns that I'm putting up that might not always make it onto my YouTube channel. So I would love it if you could check that out. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.